Alright guys, playing Dog of Dracula 2. Cyber Mono Guitari. <laughs> and if you're wondering what that weird giggling is, it's actually not anybody here on my end, it's actually in the game. <laughs> it's been happening ever since I turned it on. It's a little weird, let's just go. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. This story is dedicated to all those otakus who fight against injustice and corruption every day of their lives. Years ago, we defeated the Naturezer and his ban on condiments that devastated the world. Life only got worse. Cyber cognition is compulsory. The Cyberbond, an endless sprawl of computed techno trash, has control over most of humanity. This game is right up my alley. Some opted to plug in. Most had no choice. Others, like me, have resisted data slavery, and the corporations don't like it. 2000 AD. Nuvo Tokyo is about to EXPLODE. I've got a complex that's falling apart. Maybe that's why I'm drawn into joints like this. I can relate. Desolation is a common sight in this new info age. I guess that's why the news heads call it the pre-post-apocalypse. An old sauce den, abandoned after the decriminalization, lost somewhere between the urban decay and the dire straits in Dead Zone Nouveau Tokyo. The ketchup splatter patterns camouflaging the cracks in the walls like tomato graffiti do little to help me forget the past, and the cloying smell of corn syrup does far too much to remind me of it, of her, of Prissy, the one true force for good I've ever known in this two-bit world. But she's gone now, and I've got no one but myself to blame. An all-too-familiar routine. Sid, dude with a cigarette and a kick-ass collar. What are we doing in this creep joint, dog? I should give him a different voice. Hold on. <clears throat> what are we doing in this creep joint, dog? Shit. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> You're up. Here's some key command and a fucking syringe. You take this one. I've been off this stuff for months, man. It's all you. Peer pressure. This is my permanent address. All over softs it's here with a vamp dog in my lap and hope far out of sight. Shooting up Kiko Man in the dark. Hourly high sodium drive by is the only thing I've got going for. I'm close to the point of no return. We're a little bit past it. Ha! Huh, that's the stuff. A little pick-me-up, so I'm better equipped to put myself down. Join all the ghouls I've groomed six feet under in this rotten city. Festering in a wooden kimono covered by transistors and dirt. This game is really well written for how ridiculous it is. A heavy knock on the door rattles the walls and nearly topples over my Figma collection. If first impressions are everything, we're not off to a good start. I know what it's about before the rube behind the door can take the modem wire out of his, their mouth long enough to speak up. I've been blasting Durst step for six hours straight, trying to shake that feeling of existential dread from my skull. What can I say? I put a lot of faith in the classics. Seen his salon, asshole. Turn the tunes down. He's about to learn human contact, and I get along as well as an inner monologue and soy sauce, and they don't get along well. You don't know who you're messing with. I've been cooped up here for years playing first shooting fraggers and flipping manga pages. I'm a homicidal otaku weapon. Don't test me, baka. Another knock. Down goes Hatsune Miku. Perfect marriage of accuracy and posability left crumpled on the floor like pocky crumbs. God damn it. Alright, partner. You know what time it is. 
With a shrill whimper, I pull open the door. The greatest test of my upper arm strength since I spent an afternoon cathartically slugging myself. I give the goon's board the three-finger salute. He won't be booting up for a while. That was amazing. <laughs> I stare dejectedly at the hamstrung remains of my dear Hasune and recall something Carl once told me. One man's plastic is another man's sweetheart. Ain't that the truth? A hushed cry escapes my lips. It's not long before some eye water joins the getaway. My knuckles are scraped up and drips and crimson, like I tried to get the marble out of a Ramune. But it felt good to use my hands again. To be honest, I prefer it to the feeling of conditioner. I'm everything a goomer ought not to be, but that's as much news as the corpse mind jacking the poor sap shambling around the cyber streets. The undead gooming business is hardly booming anyway. When, when a ghoul's gotta do the what? Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, I'm losing my steam here. The undead grooming business is hardly booming anyway. When a ghoul's gotta do the tickle their pleasure center is hit up the dark side of the cyber bond through sauce proxies, what's a good shave and a haircut? Sigh. It's heck out there, ain't it, Sid? Worse than heck! His voice just keeps getting worse. It's hell. Oh, Jesus. Carl, kicking off, bought something off, dog. A real drive, a sense of purpose. Too bad it wasn't worn off on me. I hear ya. I wish I could just kick- Ugh, God, ugh. Uh, okay. Alright, I- This just goes on and on and on. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, you know? Okay. Alright, all right. you know what? No. We're, we're done. This is Dog of Dracula. Um, an incredibly well-written cyberpunk adventure where you're a dog and your best friend's an Asian stereotype and you listen to Fred Durst's step. I don't know, I should probably give this game a more thorough going over, but I've hit time and I honestly am having trouble keeping the voices straight. <laughs> Alright, well, however... It's an incredible concept. The art and graphics are just absolutely photorealistic. So I'm going to have to give this a straight up 5 out of 5. 